if I'm patient, I wait for bash, don't even do any strike, wait for bash, and then I use the bash in, into a fiend fire or any, any kind of attack, I get the split and I win, but I wasn't patient, and um, I got a terrible split and I lost. So patience is the number one thing there. In, in the slime boss, it's, it's very important to be, um, just be patient for a better split, especially when you have paper a paper frog and fiend fire. I was not paying attention. Oopsies. Things are silent. Yeah, patience is a massive virtue in the slime boss. Favorite relic? Ownership card. Not Alex, they would, have, they would have to patch the game in a way that's like they would have to make it a completely different game, different, completely different balance, because this game is not designed around PvP. So Battle Strength is pretty good, but we already have pick like, we should peel pain here. Good pocket watch for right now. And flame. I mean I like anger, it's kind of anti pocket watch. But it, it just gives me a little bit of oomph, especially with the inflame. Eh, gross. I probably should have removed the Rive, but ah, that's unfortunate. I'm not liking the Heavy Blade there. Oh my god, the region. I probably died here. The region's too much. I don't even get Pocket Watch. I mean, I'll get Pocket Watch on average, which helps me dilute the days. So that's, that's good for us, but... Yeah, not... This is definitely... Mm, probably one of the worst ones. Well, Funeral Pain is really nice. Is it worth it to kill this guy now? Or should I just, like, block? Is it worth it to kill this guy now? Because what I could do is, like, save some life. Ah. This is fine. I can watch kind of counteract days. Beam fire again? Okay, we won't fuck it up this time. Bottle flame? I guess bottle flame and whirlwind's a good in a good practice, to be honest. Uh, because you can often get like um, things that increase your mana early on. And I think whirlwinds. That could be a sapphire key, but I think this, this would be fine because of like T set and lantern and stuff. Hey, logic, no problem, man. No, I'm sorry if I seem frustrated. Uh. I think, because I've kind of made some stupid mistakes. Like, that deck was totally fine against the slime boss. And I was just impatient, and I, I basically destroyed, like, killed a, a good run. But it's, 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 I'm good. I, I'm not, like, I'm enjoying myself. Alright, so we got Power Through with Fiend Fire and Final Pain. We also got Trigger to manage that. We also got Shrug it off. I mean, Power Through might be worth it for Fiend Fire. Uh, hmm. 
I like Shrug it off better, but we're gonna try this out. Yeah, but Dead Branch is insane, dude. Dead Branch just wins you the game. Spot weakness. Ooh. I like where this is going. I like where this is going. So I think Thunderclap is actually super worth it, so I can make sure I get Fiend Fire vulnerable. But, you know, Super Boomerang dumps our strength. <laughs> Thunderclap would have been good with Paper Frog. That last run. Oh, thank you, David. Ah, full block. We're gonna, we're gonna destroy this fight. With Fiend Fire. Hmm. I think Thunderclap is pretty good. Boom, ba -bum, bum, bum. Especially when we want to like make sure you get vulnerable for the whirlwind or for the Fiendfire. I, I think Thunderclap is pretty good. I think Swift Pot is me better than Ancient for this fight in particular. So for like, Act 2, I would say Fiendfire is always a good upgrade, but Feel Pain is probably a really good upgrade for Act 2 with the Chosen and stuff. But maybe Bash so we can guarantee the vulnerable. There's a lot of good upgrades. I have to upgrade everything, Jesus Christ. Eh. We could look for it in flame. Not a very good opening hint. So this would be okay. I can split him now, but we can get a much better split, so let's go ahead and do this. And those wounds are not going to matter considering we're going to have potentially a massive fiend fire. Just keep in mind, the less- ah, uh, we won't get the vulnerable though. But the less I play, the better, because we get, um, pocket watch. Maybe Thunderclap will come in clutch? Not bad. Sets up a big fiend fire as well. Pocket watch. I mean, this also just works. What's going on, you bubble? I wasn't hurting him. Just don't know why he's crying. So, limit break? Limit break works with spot weakness, right? But feed isn't just probably what you want most of the time. Limit break, we already have spot weakness. We have inflame, so limit break will get insane. It also makes, like, okay, we'll do limit break. But I think feed, ugh, this is hard choice. Alright, Sozu. Oh, don't worry about it, Tetch. It's, it's like having you here, man. Appreciate that. I hit crack bubble. What's going on? I'm gonna take out, um... I'm gonna take my boys out one more time, guys. Maybe, maybe, maybe just take them out one last time. Look at his face. 
Guys, can you see his face? You can't see his face. I'm gonna see my boys out one, one last time, guys. <laughs> Torpedo, thank you for the Twitch Prime, buddy. Torpedo Bench, welcome to the Germpole, man. Alright, what do we what do we live off? We have like Fiend Fire, Spot Weakness stuff going on. A lot of gold. Come on, buddies. Boys. Yo, thank you, Torpedo. I'd like to get a feed this run. Super Marink. So, I like the Shrug. Uh, the deck kind of does nice things. I just need to mitigate some of the bad draws. Like, I don't know if this is worth the drop by here. We could maybe get, like, um, spot weakness or maybe some block. This is fine. I don't like taking that much damage, but, yeah. Okay. Alright, this is funny. <laughs> uh interesting. How you doing Q8? Good morning, man. Another trigger uppercut. Okay. More spot weakness, anchor. I like I think anchor is really good. Especially since we have Rithe. Let's remove the Rithe first off. Let's get the anchor. I most likely want to remove. Double spot weakness? Okay, I most likely want to remove that heavy blade as well. I mean, we can keep another we have four energy. That's pretty good, because if we can get the limit break first turn, that's not bad. I think that's pretty good. So, second wind also gets rid of a lot of stuff we don't like. Like, we can get rid of some of these. Nah, I think we go ahead and remove another strike. And once we use Fiend Fire, the deck's going to be extremely thin. We're probably at a point now where we want to upgrade Limit Break. And we want to upgrade Fiend Fire. Also, what's not bad here is that if we get, um... If we get the uh, Clockwork Souvenir, we can just don't have to depend on anything for the Limit Break to get off. Hmm, I like the Weaken, but I, I don't know if I can just squeeze it into my deck. The Weaken's pretty nice against the, the champ, but we're also going to just scale so hard against the champ. The fight's going to be over before we know it. You think Bruce is a good show? Like, the, was Brimstone at the shop? Did I miss a Brimstone? I haven't had gold push in so long, I can't even tell you, man. I didn't have to go for it. I don't want to take a damage here, but... I'm also... I'm taking one damage. I'm giving myself 14 more damage on him, so that's uh, a fair trade. Yeah, this is a pretty good trade right here. That's 45 damage. Or we can do... Well, Fiendfire is going to be lethal regardless, isn't it? You know, honestly, I probably shouldn't have done the bash. I mean, we'll do this, but... We probably could have done, like, double block and done just fine. 
It's 30, 30. That's very close. I'm gonna go drop out, win the game. Mm, Pubble's not bad. Oh, we beat the, we beat Hades today, man. We beat Hades. We actually beat Hades, and we got to the final boss again on another another weapon. We're gonna do some more Hades. I mean. Uh, the deck is powerful. Double limit break? <laughs> is this too much? So far there's only two bosses, yeah. So what I can do for Hades is like, uh... We could beat the game on Hades with every different weapon, so we completed the game with the shield, and we can beat it with the bow and beat it with the spear. Um, if you guys want to see Hades, I don't, I don't mind doing Hades. I'm, I was kind of in the group of Hades, like I, I kind of figured out Hades, so if we can do some more Hades. Maybe I can leave, leave Shadow's Breath for tomorrow, like, fresh hour, do some mods and stuff. I mean, right now I'm liking Final Pain, but um, I think Double Living Breaks would be kind of nutty. I don't necessarily want to attack him, but... Okay, we'll attack him. Here, Pocket Watch helps me find Limit Break even easier. But it's not one of the times where I'm doing Pocket Watch. I actually like Anger because I'm going to want those Angers once I have my strength. I'm going to want those Angers to dump. Limit Break. I'm gonna keep the bash. I want I want him to be vulnerable for the rest of his life. So then we when we're ready to dump all the uh, the strength, it's gonna be insane damage. How much is this? Twenty-four times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not quite lethal. Next time we have pummel though. So if I do this, then next time we have pummel. Which is going to be quite a lot. Here we see the math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright. That's like 161. And the next one we have Pummel, which is going to be 14. A little bit less. That's fine. I could have done like shrug it out first, or I could have done like the angers first. But this is fine. Now we're not vulnerable or weakened. Easy. Why is the champ so easy for the ironclad? Offering's amazing. Can no longer rest. Sneko, Philosopher's Stone. Mm, if we no longer rest, I mean, I think we're t we definitely have a deck that is, um, is taking damage. But there's also Sneko Eye where we can draw seven cards a turn and maybe that'll help us get our strength scaling going while we have um, four energy to back it up. Plus, we draw nine cards a turn potentially, which can guarantee we get limit break, but it also makes it in inconsistent. Here, this is five energy, but against the heart, it's kind of awkward. This might just be a skip relic, honestly. This might just be a skip. So yeah, nine cards to turn potentially with Snickle, or maybe seven cards, but it's gonna be... Uh, and Whirlwind and Fiendfire are probably not too affected by it, and also Heavy Blade probably gets some benefit out of it. I can see Snickle being okay, if we just want to scale up like crazy. And Snickle will make Fiendfire better, but... It could be a skip. I mean, let me see Coffee Dripper. We don't have Pantograph. We do have some decent block with Anchor and stuff. The Sneko counters Pocket Watch. Yeah, so the Sneko's gonna make it so that we probably play more cards. Like, Sneko and Pocket Watch are, are, are... I mean, I can just imagine drawing 7 cards a turn guaranteed will be kind of nice with the Limit Break scaling. But I, I probably won't like the cost that I get. 
We also get five energy bottled uh, whirlwind as well. No, six energy bottled because of the lantern. I think our deck is kind of drying well enough as it is though, because we have pocket watch, so we can just take the five energy. HP, HP heal a battle seems not fine. I mean, yeah, I think coffee dripper could be whatever. There may be a situation where we're gonna take a lot of damage. We, we are healing blood vial plus this, right? But we have a very aggressive deck. Mm, I'll do coffee dripper. What, what I want now is like maybe a battle trance. I could do elites. Our deck is, is, is very hard hitting. That's it. The last thing I want to do is <laughs> whirlwind in this fight. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. You can probably even keep that lady up. Oh, this is awkward. So offering feels a little bit worse since you can't really heal. That's not ideal. Not ideal yet again. We're already drawing so many cards to turn, though. So we're rolling in the block now. We're rolling in the deep. More true grits. I mean, <laughs> it's been a couple months. It's been like eight months, maybe eight or nine months. You've, you've solved the new line issues and now to fix the blue, uh, the bizarre uh, run equals that text. If you just work for six hundred, you would have guaranteed lethal on yourself. <laughs> exactly. So we can do true grits. I kind of like it with true grits working with like pocket watch and doing true grit funeral pain. We already have two true grits though. Uh, I, I I can see Twin Strike to dump our strength, but at the same time, I think our deck's kind of working well. All right, so we can upgrade. We can get two curses, or we can get a rare boss relic. Okay, let me see. No rare relic. Um, the 999 gold. If there's a shop, there's one here. Okay, so there's one shop here, which means I can remove one normality, and we have sugar for the other normality. And that's not that's a lot of gold, which you know, going into act four, there's another shop in act four. I think I may go for the gold. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, we actually could just score big so Dark Shackles is actually really good. Wait, Tori's really good. Pen is really good. Dark Shackles is pretty good against the heart. Um, that's all very good. I would like to get a feed. So head was not bad. I think okay. So blue candle is interesting because that works with funeral pain, right? So if I take blue candle, I can make norm my normality turn into a positive. Or that's kind of expensive, so I can just remove normality. Or if you just keep one normality in the deck, I think one of fans is not bad. Um, I guess we remove. I mean, I guess we remove.
We could turn our curses into something we can utilize. And potentially even get more benefit with like Centennial Puzzle. And the removal is getting so expensive. So I, I didn't really get that much gold out of it because I'm spending all my... I spent 270 something for the removal. Mm. Upgrade offering makes sense because we do have a lot of cards we want to... Uh, C. Got limit breaks. This is pretty good for his turn. That's 80 damage. Why would I block? Oh my god, guys. So I'm gonna do this just to get the pendant ready. And we have 18 strength right now. Fiend fire for the win. Okay. <laughs> Red Skull, interesting. Another Fetal Pain, very nice. We have to take this. Oh my god, guys, no. So Bag Prep is actually so good with what our deck's trying to do. Oh no. We're trying to find our Limit Breaks ASAP. We have Mutagenic Strength, so if we can get more cards in the beginning with the extra energy, 6 energy, we can find our Limit Breaks... Uh, we're gonna have to bite the bullet. Back prep would have been fantastic. Apotheosis. I kind of like Apotheosis. A Dark Shackles is insane, though. Dark Shackles against the heart. Hmm. Dark Shackles is very good against the heart. I think of it as like a piercing wheel on steroids. That just, that's just insane. Apotheosis, I mean, we already have most of our important stuff upgraded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Red Skull is bit, it looks, it looks sad. Another funeral pain? Oh my god. Oh my lord. I want to get funeral pain out, but I also want to get pocket watch. Ah, eh, fuck it. I can, I can sacrifice pocket watch for that turn. Pocket watch from here on out. All we need is pocket watch and we win. All we need is pocket watch in our life. I could probably, I, I could even kill this guy if I wanted to. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's close to killing the guy. Uh, I'll spare him. I could have done bash first. Maybe I should charge like an appendix. Ah, lethal actually with limit break. <laughs> or close to it. Alright. We're rich for next at least we're rich for the uh Brag for shop. Alright, let's find our strength scaling. Uh, this is awkward. Inflame. Ah, uh, awkward. So we don't get the limit break. We need to get spot weakness or inflame right now. There it is. How much damage do we have? So if I were to do... 
If I were to do headbutt, limit break right now. Alright. And then I were to do limit break, limit break. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times. I like it. So if I were to do a uh, true grit, uh, well, if I just do true boomerang in this, don't we just win? We spend him again, but oh, bronze goes for the heart. Ooh, so we got juggernaut for the heart with funeral pain. That's actually extremely good because juggernaut is gonna give us a lot of block with funeral pain. I I like that a lot. I can approve. Although I, okay, I'm gonna upgrade the limit break on Act Four, and then we have a deck that just destroys. So I don't mind taking some damage here. I want to find like spot weakness or something. Nice. So we could... I mean, we could try to be... We could try to get pocket watch. But, okay, I think this is... Oh no, K time for me to... Puck Watch is very good because I want to draw as many cards as possible so I can find the Funeral Pains. Funeral Pains just carries this run. But we got Limit Break again, right? Uh, we got Spot Weakest again. I wonder if it's even worth to do Headbutt Spot Weakness or just just draw first. We got the Limit Break. Actually, I want to do like Funeral Pain Limit Break. I want to do Headbutt Limit Break. So we're gonna double block because we're about to win here. I want to preserve life because I can't rest. Remember that. I want Reaper though. So this is unfortunately not lethal. Unfortunately not lethal. Juggernaut's probably insane here. We got Pendant for next fight. This goes pretty good here. So this is a good turn for Phenol Pain, Phenol Pain Dark Shackles. I'm gonna play everything here. This is actually a good turn for us. Drawn to trigger would be nice. So we'll do Funeral Pain True Grit. Even though the Spot Weakness would be nice. I guess I could do Spot Weakness and... This. Uh, let's go win. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. I could win. Let's, um... Limit break is worth it. Let me see. We might take some damage. That's gonna be awful. I, we need we need the shop to carry us, I guess. 
Yeah, I think upper limit break. Well, this is probably gonna get pretty big. We have a lot of energy for this. Ah, uh, that's upper limit break. So should we have like nine hundred ninety-nine thousand strength? Maybe Reaper or something. Happy Flower is not bad. Slinger Curse. Slinger Curse can be good against this elite fight. Do I want to get this just for this fight? It guarantees that the break will never be a dead girl. Well, I want to say it doesn't help me with the heart. Because you think about it. If I have enough strength where I can just do one strike to do his 200 damage limit and then two block cards and hope that we get Pocket Watch, it's not bad. I think Smoke Pond doesn't work against the elite fight. Also, Evolve could help me with my wounds and some of the stuff that the heart tries to give me. You can't take smoke bomb on this. So, our best feels underwhelming. I think the speed pot can't buy potions. Can't buy smoke bomb because we have Sozu anyways, even if we're, we're going to. My arm's okay, yeah. I'm just chilling on a pillow here. It's all good. I think panic button is not bad. So Panic Bun is not bad. I think... I think Evolve might be interesting. Although I don't want to add too much to the deck. I like Panic Bun. I want to remove a strike, maybe. I think this thing occurred just for this Elite Fight, but let's do, let's do this. Let's remove, get the Hyper Flower, Panic Bun. To me, it seems like the best buy. Because we can't buy potions. So Whirlwind this turn is doing... <laughs> 100 and... Uh, By the math so wrong right now. Um, 132. Alright. It's doing 150. It's doing some work. If we do this, how much is this? Alright, so if I do this first. It's 150. Yeah, why not? Close to killing the guy on the right. If I had the energy for it. Alright, let's go ahead and... Uh, Win this. On CC top, interesting. He's gonna paint again, interesting. I wanna get spot weakness. It's a little that's a little awkward. Might have to do fiend fire for those things. That's a lot of damage. We got panic button for this turn, but that's also Limit breaks. Huh. Those are my limit breaks. So I want to do like headbutt. Oh god. I want to do headbutt, spot weakness, limit break, limit break, limit break, and then maybe panic button, even though it's not that good. That's my best bet, I would say. Just so I can get the strength scaling going. Ah, uh, but next turn, isn't he attacking for a crap ton next turn? Yeah, this is fine. It's better than nothing. Tori gives you 15. I'm only taking 15 damage here. I'm taking 15 damage. So Funeral Pain, I want to get out. I might have to, like, this might be very, very close. Like, I'm going to have to do the Funeral Pain's for sure. But we're taking damage by doing this. So that's going to be 17. The Juggernaut is good, but then I'm going to get down to 3 HP. <laughs> 3 HP here. I can one shot him. So it's. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question here. If I exhaust this, do I get the funeral pain block right now and then I don't take any of his reflect damage? You think? Let's find out. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that just kills me then.
I need to save Dark Shackles for next turn. But we can't. I also need, like... Ay, ay, ay. I needed this turn to be, like... I need a Fiend Fire for this turn. So Fiend Fire for this turn will give me... Insane block. I just need some way to exhaust. I need a trigger or something. A little unlucky draws, to be honest. Because even trigger would have been fantastic. Trigger would have been absolutely amazing. So we get another 12 block with this, right? So that's going to be 40. So if we do this, we're going to be doing 12 minus... We have 48, we live. That's 12, 48, we live. So this is the turn we need to get. <laughs> Fuck me. Now, if I could guarantee Pocket Watch, oh man. So this is gonna be 10 block. If I was a little healthier, we could probably survive this, you know. 10 block. Actually, let me. Th mm. He's only doing. Oh, I think he's only doing. Alright, so if I block first. One, nah, see, because I did that damn slime thing. I'm gonna sign just because we did the slime thing for the Final Pain. That was genuine science, and that took away 75% of my HP. I think I should have science just for that moment, so I don't lose 2 HP when I only have 3 HP. Because that 3 HP is very important, because I could potentially get this down to like, um. Well, I can't win this one, but... Okay, I'm gonna sign just because of that one turn. I don't know if it makes a difference. 3 HP doesn't seem like I can win this fight, but let's see. Now, the alternative here is to start getting rid of things like Thunderclap, but I like this because it gets rid of the artifacts. We need Reaper for this fight. If we had Reaper, this deck was 100% uh, win. Reaper, Reaper is the number one thing this deck is missing. Reaper helps immensely. So here what we did is we did the... Uh, the limit breaks, right? Because we want to get the strength. I'm okay with that. That's that's the best play I can make, to be honest. I guess I could do true grit. Like I could do headbutt, shrug, true grit on the strike, and then like defend panic button. But then we won't have any strength to, to work with. At least it's a little bit healthier, though. At least it's a little bit healthier, I suppose. But then we don't get the pocket watch. But that little bit, that does make a difference. Especially when we're going to take 15. So here I want to get the Final Pain, Final Pain Juggernaut. So we're going to be taking 6 by doing this. Plus another 2. We're taking 8. Plus 15. Okay, so we're going to be down to uh, 14. That's, that's doable. Just have no strength now. This might be a turn where I um offering because I want to make sure I draw. 
That'd be an offering turn for me. Ah, uh, offering is just so suicidal. Ugh. All right, so there's a couple things we could do. If I offering, is this worth playing? Six teams, we have forty. I can't guarantee the pocket watch though. If I didn't do that last thing, I was actually fine. The last one was bad because now I can't get pocket watch. Is it worth to start doing? No. This could be the turn in which I do massive fiend fire. Do I do? Offering is so painful though. Let's give it a chance when I do offering though. And we gotta do a crap ton here. We didn't we don't even get theme fire. We don't even get theme fire. Don't even get it. Fuck me. I actually need a fiend fire. So, what could I have headbutted? Damn, this fight was so close, actually. So many little things in this fight. So many little things. We're so dead. If I can get Dark Shackles on this turn, or Fiend Fire on this turn, then Fiend Fire covers, and then I should have enough with True Grits and my li so Limit Break and True Grits should just cover the rest of the fight, because True Grit gives me a 25 block per. So I just keep doing True Grit, Limit Break, and attack. Probably can manage. The turn before, I did the headbutt on the True Grit. I guess I can't help the draws. Can't help the draws there. If that wound was like a dazed, that would have been nice.
Very close. Also, there, I guess there's a situation where I don't do one more fiend fire, but I don't do one. Uh... Damn, that's hard. The deck almost made it, to be honest. One thing this deck was lacking, and I think guaranteed win if that if this deck had it, Reaper. If I had Reaper, I win. Not even close. Imagine this deck of everything it's doing, and it has some life to work with. Pandagraph would also be nice. Pandagraph, Reaper. I think Reaper. Ah, uh, maybe even Pervious. If I had Impervious on the turn where he's doing a big attack. Because that Panic Burn wasn't enough. The Reaper would have been amazing. We, we even one-shot the... <laughs> we one-shot the Act 4 Elite. We didn't do any signs, I don't believe, right? No signs until the, the heart. I wonder if that's actually a way to do the heart, though. I'm trying to think. There's a few things we could do differently, honestly. So, on turn one, I could have true gridded like a strike. And that would have affected my draws, so I could have less strikes and more true grits. But I decided to go for Whirlwind. Did I end up true gridding the strike? After all? Like, things like that. Like, I do true grit on the strike. Don't really care about the Whirlwind up front. 